my name is Kelly Clark. I've been a professional snowboarder for the last 18 years, and I'm from the USA. Snowboarding is cool because no matter how much you've done or what you've accomplished, you're never going to be the best. It's always changing, and I'm always pushed to learn new things, and I'm always challenged. I've been doing this for a long time, but it's it's um, still kind of exciting to me. If it was about winning things and accomplishing things, I probably should have stopped a long time ago. I've had a wonderful career. I've accomplished, you know, more than anyone could hope to. But it's always been about the snowboarding for me, and I still have things to learn. Uh, I don't think I've hit my potential as a rider yet. When I don't have anything left to contribute to the sport, uh, I'll stop competing. I mean, I have personal trick goals, and that's that's really what the progression comes down to for me. It's, you know, getting my snowboarding to a point where I'm really content. I'm going to try to make my fifth Olympic team this next year. Um, and then after that, uh, you know, I think I'll probably shift gears, and I, I don't think I'll be involved in, in the sport at the same capacity, but I believe I'll still be involved with the sport in the sense of product development and brand ambassador. You know, working with Burton has been a great privilege. I always say that I started snowboarding before it was cool. Um, you know, snowboarding wasn't an Olympic sport. It was just something I fell in love with at my local resort. And I remember I watched the Olympics in 1998 and I recorded the snowboarding uh, on a VHS tape and I watched it after school. And I, I really made a, a, a decision that day that this was what I wanted to give my life to. And I pursued that dream. And four years later, I was standing on top of the podium in Salt Lake City. And it's been really a privilege to get to represent my country at four Olympic Games. And, you know, every Olympics, I can really see how much I've grown as a person and as a snowboarder. Um, you know, I've learned not to be defined by my performance. And I've learned that the Olympics, they're not a destination and they shouldn't be treated that way. They're simply a wonderful addition to a snowboarding career. And so, you know, I think as you grow up, you figure out who you are and what you have value for. And, I look at things as opportunities and it's just been an amazing way to grow up. I think when you're young, you don't really know who you are or what you're doing. You're just kind of going through the motions and you have dreams and you have things that you want to pursue. And I, I think the expectation can get to you a lot more when you're younger because you don't have the framework, you don't have the identity built. I've become a lot more comfortable in my own skin as I've grown up and, and gotten older. You know, I, I pay less attention to what people think of me and what is expected of me. And I kind of go after my, my own agenda and my own goals more freely than I used to. I've probably done more snowboarding contests than most people on the planet, but I, I can truly say that it never gets easy. Um, it's not something that, you know, you, you master. It's not something that you say, oh, this is, this is a breeze. You know, I think if it was easy, I probably wouldn't do it anymore. Or if it was easy, a lot more people would be doing it. You have successes and you have failures, but they, they shape you and they help you make decisions and they, they put things in perspective and they help you value things going forward. I don't think I have regrets, but I have decisions that have defined me.